TL Travelers and welcome back to the TL Travel YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, um, welcome. I hope that you enjoy the video that you are about to watch. And for those of you who are returning visitors, thanks for coming back. It's lovely to see you again. It is the 1st of November today. So for those of you who don't know, I will be heading out here pretty soon to Mexico and then onward to our TL Travel Nicaragua luxury yoga and hoop fit retreat. So I have uh, quite a bit of travel coming up and quite a bit of travel in some fancier spots. So my next few videos are going to be focused a little bit more on luxury resort travel and all-inclusive resort travel. So yeah, that's just giving you a little something to look forward to. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about what you can do when you are going to resort to get your money's worth, especially with all-inclusive resorts where so much stuff is included, um, but it's almost like you don't really know where to start. So in this video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about some resort travel hacks and what you can do not only to make your travel and your stay a little bit better, but also to get your money's worth everywhere that you go. So my first tip comes right from the start, and that is ask for upgrades. When you're checking in, especially in larger resorts and all-inclusives, often they have a ton of rooms available, ocean view rooms, whatever. And when it comes down to it, if those rooms have not already been booked through the duration of your stay, their priority and their top priority is always going to be to make their customers happy. No, you won't always get an upgrade and yes, some resorts are a little bit more hesitant to give upgrades to just anyone or there might be an extra charge, but it is still possible that you get yourself a much larger suite or a ni much nicer suite still at a lower price even if you are paying that extra surcharge. If you don't ask, you're not gonna get the benefits. My second tip for you guys today is to take advantage of the freebies. Not only at all-inclusive resorts, but at a lot of more uh, high-end boutique hotels and that kind of thing, they will have a lot of extras that you can participate in from diving lessons in the pools, to maybe a fitness class on the beach, perhaps snorkeling gear and kayaking gear is included. All of those kinds of things are there for you. And technically, when you're making your purchase, you're paying into having those services there, so why not take advantage? My third travel hack for you uh, revolves around the idea of tipping, good old tipping. At most high-end resorts and all-inclusive resorts, you're going to be leaving a tip eventually anyways, so my tip for you is when it comes to, say, bar service is a big one, but other services as well, leave a bit of a tip before you start. Leave a tip on the table for your bartender before you even order your drink. You will find that once you have left this initial tip, your bartender is more likely to give you that extra bit of attention, maybe faster service, a stronger drink if you know what I mean. And I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge tip, it can just be an initial dollar or so just to sort of get the ball rolling and to establish that you are the kind of traveler that they want to serve. My next hack also revolves around drinking, not necessarily that of beverages but you know drinking nonetheless but that tip is to bring your own cup so when I travel I already bring my own travel water bottle with me that's a little bit more insulated for water and juice and electrolytes and all those kinds of things to bring with me to the pool so uh, something like this is what I recommend but at all inclusive resorts specifically where you have unlimited drinks and they serve them in those dinky little plastic cups that disappear pretty quickly I must say, and get pretty warm and melty pretty fast. Something like this is gonna come in handy for you. If you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, because yes, this is a little bit more expensive of a travel bottle if you aren't bringing it with you all the time, would be something like this, which is just an insulated little cup. I bought this one at the dollar store and it comes with a straw. Now, it's not leak proof necessarily, um, but it will keep your drink uh, colder longer and it will also afford for a larger drink when they're filling up your cup. Now, side note, not all all-inclusive resorts and especially not all luxury boutique hotels will let you bring in your own cup like that, so it is wise to check beforehand or if it's from the dollar store, just pack it, try it, and if they don't let you do it, just, you know, 
discard. And my last two travel hacks are for getting out and exploring the local area. So if you are, especially on an all-inclusive resort where you tend to be sort of enclosed in that resort space, depending on the resort that you're at, it may be close to exciting things that you can go see and do. So a lot of all-inclusives, you will be given information on excursions when you arrive. And those excursions are great and they're definitely reliable. I'm not saying that they're not, so if that's your thing, definitely do it. What I like to do before I head down to the resorts is to research excursions and more local excursion companies in the area just to see what's good, what comes highly reviewed because sometimes there will be an excursion um, that you want to do that either isn't offered by the resort that you're staying at or that is a similar excursion that's being offered, but it might be offered at a lower price. They will still be able to come and pick you up at your resort and take you out on this excursion. It's just something that you would have to book ahead of time. And on that same note, if you are heading off the resort, this isn't so much of a hack as it is just general something to keep in mind is to make sure that you dress down when you're going off resort especially if you're staying at an all-inclusive or a luxury boutique hotel chances are you've brought things that you can dress up in you're looking a little bit nicer on the day-to-day -day. things like jewelry uh, handbags expensive sunglasses those are the kinds of things that will make you a target for theft even in safer areas if it's a tourist area there's always going to be someone there you know scouting for a little so definitely dress down if you are going off resort for a little exploration or a little excursion so that's it for me today for my travel resort uh, hacks I hope that you enjoyed my video and got a little bit out of it if you did like it I would love for you to like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to the TL travel YouTube page. We post new videos every Thursday and Sunday as well as some sporadically in between. Not just tips and tricks but videos of our adventures as well so you can get a little inspiration there. Thanks so much for stopping by and as usual stay great, travel safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hello YouTube! It's Halloween week! And we are off with my little handheld.